All right. Well, today, what I wanted to do because Eamon went on around the bar, this little old, this little old gossip rag uh, that Hitch has. Hitch has been begging me to come on. Hitch, Hitch said, "I'll, I'll do whatever you want. You, you have full access to my body." And I'm like, dude, relax. Like, I don't want you. So let's watch it. Has okay. Show of hands. Who has already watched this? Okay, a lot of hands. Wow. Now, it's three fucking hours long. Do you guys think that's good? Would you rather have a banger hour or that banger hour dispersed among three hours? Because you need slop to, like, feel complete in your life. I feel like if we just want more content, it's bad, right? If we're just looking for something to fill the air while we, while we walk around... That doesn't necessarily encourage something good, right? Am I crazy to think that? Or am I a big old stinking <laughs> pussy? <laughs> something existing always better than nothing existing. Do you really think that? Do you think that Hitler existing was better than not existing? Do you think that everything goes on with your anime PFP? You do. Gee. Okay, well. All right. <laughs> One anti-Semite taken down. Bit by bit. Do you want one, Matt? Uh, maybe in a minute. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, how is I have this issue in my head, which I've talked about a lot, where if like if there's a like, lull or dead air, I start, I start freaking out, and my slot machine starts going really, really, really fast. I kind of just say whatever to like get out of the the drop. Great man, please. But what I've learned is that it's better to let the show breathe a lot, especially with like if you listen like Comtown, like they're 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 all over the place. They're like sloppy. In a way, but you know they also will when they find a bit they like really like coast through it at a very natural pace. Get into it all. Oh, I need a Red Bull, or I will not make it. I probably won't make it to three hours, but this is the only way. Yeah, I got the dumper too. Thinks it's a fucking game. No, I don't have the ass of a sixty-year-old lesbian from the Pacific Northwest. Don't say true. That was the first time we met. Was That's was so funny at that Call of Duty event, <laughs> and this was this is funny. So I think what I would do here is, if I wanted to make this funny, which Aiden isn't necessarily trying to do, um, is I would I would allude to the younger Hitch and what could have been, and things like that. I would just lie. I would say, remember when you tried to like get me drunk, Hitch? You know, I was sixteen, right? And then what? See what he does. Here's you know what I would have done. That picture, <laughs> the picture that Aiden has, which is like him and all the Call of Duty guys, I would have photoshopped Hitch, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm in a crass mood, but with his cock out or something, like in the picture, because it's in a hotel lobby with a bunch of people, or I would have like photoshopped him with like, like big nipples, or I don't know, and just show him, because it's a real picture, and you're already surprised to see that, and then you're like, what, <laughs> and then he like... Because he has to admit that the picture happened, but also clarify that part of it is wrong, which I think would be really funny. Headquarters that we're at right now. A piss stain's also good. Also, yeah. Myself. Oh, a piss stain is so funny. Because <laughs> it's like, because that's believable. And Aiden could be like, yeah, and you just had piss all over your pants. More prolific. He's using that word wrong. He always does, and it's common. People, people just don't use the word right. Uh, he th he's thinking of like prevalent or frequent. Um, I've corrected him on this and he has not changed. And I will be ruining his Valentine's Day with his girlfriend right now. And these Here we go, Mavis Beacon. You know my name on Steam, Sam, for like six months was Mavis Beacon's Hairy Pussy. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> really funny. <laughs> I guess I still do. Thick at the beginning. Of okay. the show, like when it was first breaking out. And these I guess I still like do. There's a, I think there's a lot of like uh, comment, like little yardisms and bits of like language that have like really seeped through our friend group that people have just like adopted or like versions of our persona that people used to bring up and like joke about in these interactions. He's so good at explaining this. But that's like definitely. EMP in the chat room. Slime has probably led the charge on that. Slime. Well. Huh? Uh, but that's like, goat mentioned like definitely Brain changed man. slime has probably led the charge on that slime has oh, yeah, definitely yeah. cultivated you... a culture of fear around exactly. fan interactions <laughs> I feel like there's the yin and yang that you need extremely easy I think. <laughs> oh I wish he said extremely annoying that would have been really funny 
Hi, Hitch. Hitch is here, everybody. Wow. No, he's cool. Wait, no, 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 he's cool. Guys, no, Hitch, come, come here, come here. No, 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 it's fine. I, he, I like him. <laughs> he's, he's 31. He has the busting haircut. No, just take off your hat. Take off your hat. Drink, man, please. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> you gotta go. I actually founded that tournament, so the first. Oh, really? Like the first two iterations of that. Um, worked that's on not the one where they use like the paper uh, icons, right? Uh, no, that's the fate. paper icons. Yeah, you should know this instantly. That's fate. You you know like a uh, when you take. Okay, he got it. It was I was quicker, but whatever. A stock. Oh yeah, that's fate. Great tournament. It, I'll blame the mule. The branding is beautiful. I love niche. that tournament. Is that built into the game, or is that part of OBS, like the the broadcaster? That is the paper icons. The paper icons. I think it's. I, it's a slippy. You know this. I want to say it's built into the game? Yeah. You're a dumbass. They probably like. You're yeah, you're a just, bad interview. You're a you're a and you're a shit lay, Aiden. I want to tackle him with a fucking wearing full gear. I want a sick butter bean on him. Where's the interview with Johnny Knoxville where he talks about uh, getting hit by Butterbean? Okay, well, basically, it's really funny because he gets hit by Butterbean if you haven't seen it. Oh. Oh. Dude. (laughs) And then he gives this line to the paramedic. (laughs) Butterbean okay? (laughs) He asks if Butterbean is okay. He's basically like, I was fucking concussed, and I just, like, I'm so out of it, and I knew I had to save it to make it funny, or else it would be too, like, too hardcore. So I asked if Butterbean was okay, and my heart swelled. Being fucked up and getting hit in the head really hard by a, by a hamburger of a man, and still having the wherewithal to make it kind of funny, I, I hope that I can do that one day. And you might remember like Crush too, like Crush or like Fat Goku or Cyrox. There was like these up and coming like Fox players. Okay, I think I remember. He's so fake. We sp- Where's Cyrox from? Sponsored them as well. So it was like flying. Where's Cyrox from? Hitch? So Sweden. <laughs> close. So close. That is a fruit. Uh, it's Colorado. Whenever You didn't know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 I it's mean, a, I, a, I think a, I got pretty good. Because I don't know shit about fucking Call of Duty. I don't even know who damn fucking Scump looks like, dude. I'm literally going to find out what he looks like as we speak. Scump. No way. That's what he looks Great like? Man, please. This is your goat? <laughs> is he cool? Is that Scump? Mugged on a slime stream too. Fuck this, bro. <laughs> Scump best in game on YouTube. All right. It is this is why you need those chat mics, man, for for a uh, broadcast. Wow, that's cool. All right. He seems pretty cool. Okay, so that's what Scump looks like. Anyway. I was, like, just in this state it's, of, like, I want to go, like, I'd feel lonely, and then I'd go, like, hang out with friends, and as soon as I got there, I'd get there, I'd want to leave, and I, like, I just... <laughs> He's the same as me, man. He's the same as me, man. Don't Park on the Grass is, like, the best name. <laughs> it's such a good name no, for No, it's not. Event. No, it's not. No, it's really bad. I wish I came up with it. I, I really do. <laughs> it was, I don't. And, Incredible. And this just became so prolific that yeah. I was like, this is yeah! just a good name for a tournament. So this was just part of the culture. I think that was a big selling point of the documentary. It, it attaches. He kind of he kind of wrapped this around from explaining "Don't Park on the Grass" to like explaining the culture of melee, which I think is really cool. It tells this very human story about like come yeah. be a part of something like He's so very right. unique. He's so fucking dreamy. And. Uh, I think that was the main reason why I wanted to get into it at all is because I, I watched the doc and I was like, I'm fucking sick of playing video games in my room. 
That was really? like my thought. Okay. I, was like, I didn't think that. I thought I am just as good as Mango. I bet. Unironically. No. And it also oh, set up that that how big of a platform YouTube is. Imagine if that documentary went out on DVD. Like, it just doesn't go anywhere. It yeah. doesn't go anywhere. It, it, they sell a couple copies. One person's like, dude. Or perhaps behind some sort of paywall on Vimeo. I shudder at the thought. And so like a bunch of people were resubbing yeah. and they were like 30 months. Most people measure their involvement in the game by mango subs. That is so long. That yeah. is so, that is so like, long. like there's a lot of people nowadays that are watching Melee that never saw Armada play. I was, if you got in during COVID, you didn't, yeah, you just didn't watch yeah, those people play at never, all. Where's Joel? Oh, he's so locked in. It's okay. He's locked in. He didn't notice me. It's fine. He's locked in. It's fine. <laughs> Hi. Hey, guys, before we continue the podcast, I just want everybody to know that we are on Patreon. What is this shit? A mid-roll? Baked in? Booing sound effects loud. Fortnite Battle Royale Boogie Bomb sound effects. Okay, sure. And access to my listeners also offer early access to merchandise. And also some people to me. It's, it's saying this is humiliating is so funny. <laughs> Man, it's, it's weird. So, uh, <laughs> sub to around the bar <laughs> on Patreon. There's bonus content. <laughs> Dude, Ludwig might not even be fucking famous. That's right I didn't now. even think about Ludwig. If the, yeah. if the documentary didn't come out, I do. That is an interesting. Ludwig would probably be on like the newest Survivor season, and he'd like he get kicked out in like the second episode. We wouldn't have the yard. Like, we wouldn't be friends. This is how... <laughs> There's true. no Scar and Toe show. There's it's actually no editor for up. that. There's no... I thought about this when I moved to LA in 2015. I was 25. I was so... Everything in my life, social and, like, the time I spent just had to do with Melee. It was crazy. It's, it's so interesting, too, because Smash is just a game that everyone had. It was this perfect, perfect mixture of a game that was complex and hard to play, but also easy to pick up, and everyone just fucking had it, and Mario's in it, and also everyone else is in it. Because, like, you could make a documentary about Windjammers, but people don't have the emotional connection to Windjammers because they didn't grow up playing it with their brother and shit, you know? It's just, it's just like this fucked up perfect storm. That's why Melee is still sick, because it just happens to be a really good game. You are a guy that wears your heart on your sleeve. Yeah, I heard I'm getting bullied by your friend for crying on the show. <gasps> it, it's not even Christmas, dude. No, that's fine. I, 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 met, have no, I have no shame. He's, whenever you met, he's a beast about it. Aiden, Aiden does what Nintendo don't, and I'm Nintendo. And then you hear your voice start to quiver, and I'm like, what? Oh this guy's not, gonna, he's not about to cry he, <laughs> right now, is he? Yeah, that's what I thought too, Hitch. I, dude, I was so, I was like, what were you upset? Like how, like, cause I didn't know the extent of how a upset Aiden was. I would not have asked this. I just don't, I would not have wanted to deal with this on the podcast. And then he starts getting into it and I, I'm just lit. You can see me be like, oh no, on my face. And he was fine. I just would have chosen not to do that. But it was funny because we talked about it afterwards and I was like, I had no idea. And Nick was like, yeah. Yeah, because he did know that Aiden was very emotional about it, but he like didn't, you know, there's no reason to like say heads up or anything. It was, it was fine. But you can see, what episode is that? You're right, bud. I love you. I'm pro Aiden. I always hear barking that Aiden would win. But Why don't I you think, show me? Uh, Computer. <laughs> minute, I'm not like mad at anybody, you know? Computer, yeah, show fine. slime. <laughs> what have I done? Two parts of my brain are screaming right now. One saying the show is the show and it's not a good show unless it's funny. And this is the opposite of funny. And the other part is saying, fuck, he's really cut up about this. That's my friend. Is Butterbean okay? Oh, imagine I'd bink that. Telling them about it. Like, dude, you got to see this part of the podcast. It's incredible. Like, it's, it's such a... Really? We just see the world differently, Hitch. Friendship than, other than what we have. And so I go to show them. I go to show them, and I can only bring up the video. As you start to tear up, fucking, what's the name Subway of Subway Surfers. Subway Surfers. Yeah. Sub, can you look up that part of the pod? Just hover over the top. 
so oh, Archie, you did the slow push in too. Mm. We're a good team, everyone. As he's talking, booted up CS. You, that was that's you surfing. My fucking goat, Archie. I had no fear of them really like making fun of me in that moment. Really? I knew because he knows that even if we did make fun of him, it's out of love. Like we just don't cross those lines because you don't want to hurt your friend, please. unless you do, and then you hurt him. Like um, never in a million years. Yeah. <laughs> ever, they ever, ever years, open dude. up to Blake and George. Ever. That, I mean, really? That's, it's gotta, yeah. Uh, that's kind of sad, right? What is it, gay? Hitch, are you afraid that it would be gay to open up to Blake? Do you think Blake would feel gay about it to you? Maybe you show each other your penis. Every comment is Strength about man, people please. dealing with what Hi. I'm talking about. Yeah. Talking about like competing... In also, if anyone makes fun of Aiden for crying, like in the comments, I remember being probably the most mad I've ever been at the comments were when people were making fun of him for this. Because that's my friend. Because he, he just beasted it. Like, can't you even see that? Can't you see that he beasted? It feels so bad to let other people down. Yeah. Um, in Melee or in, in single game. Hold on, I have a funny idea. Damn, it's not a long set. You can't just siphon off the blame to like other people. Yeah. You're getting owned because you fucking suck. Or they're using Sheik. And Sheik or is so cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's slime. See, slime never lets it, oh, never lets it end, dude. He's oh, always sorry, talking I'm watching, about how Sheik's uh, broken. I'm watching something else. <laughs> I'm just but watching like another thing. We have like a softball event coming up. Oh, it was supposed to be Optic Bobber. versus X. And X you tell dropped teach. out. And I was like, dude, I would love to play like Moist and you guys. Because I know you guys have been playing basketball and yeah. stuff. So I hit him up. He said you couldn't do it, but we should do something like that eventually. What's who's the seven? Who are the five and two subs? The five, me, Jay Ludwig, Nick, Slime won't play, so not Slime. So not Slime. Nick Yingling. Nick Yingling. Oh, and he's then, getting body. That's not even a question. Have you seen ratioed by Air the Yingling? Have you seen that video? I have not. So you know he's so you know fake, Summit, right? dude. Yeah. Do you know how, how do Nick you Yingling? not? How do you not know? Also, Aiden is going to have to contextualize the Smash Summit. Uh, ratioed by Air Yingling campaign. If he spends more than 25 seconds contextualizing this to Hitch, I'm calling him a bad podcaster. The timer is at 141.59. And go. Yingling got voted into a Smash Summit. I, I've, I, I, I vaguely know the stories because I remember seeing his name and get at, the, yes. at the time being like, who the who fuck, the is, fuck <laughs> is Nick Yingling? Nick Yingling Great on paper man, is please. by far the least Much accredited competitor to ever make it into a Smash yes, Summit. Yes, of course. Um, but he got voted in. We didn't get there. But here's the thing. He's he's rolling it so much, uh, making man, it please. about Nick Yingling himself Robert? that actually I'm changing it, and I don't think this is a problem. This is good. He did it perfectly. He did it so that the time didn't matter, which actually makes him a good podcaster. I'm proud. You can sit on the side. Okay, okay, you can okay. sit on the side with Slime. <laughs> yeah. Slime's not going to play. Do you box? Slime's been training boxing. You could fight him. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's what you guys could do on the side while we play basketball. Jesus Christ is such a Matt funny thing. Slime boxing slime in the corner. corner. Yeah, it's like the golden snitch in Harry Potter. You know, we play a full basketball game, but whoever wins the boxing match just overrides the right. result. That's if someone true. gets a knockout. Whoever he, got, he went exactly where he needed to go with the bit. Very clean. Circle yeah. cheese You need time. to send Matt to training camp yeah. starting tomorrow. Soon. Yeah, definitely. What's this guy look like? E. Matt Craig. This guy? This guy. Oh. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> Four side fights. I have a confession. So many of my friends are on that show. I've never watched it. Oh. <laughs> Why? Ever. In one of the Foresight Fights episodes... No, I wasn't episodes, doing tricks on it. Uh, Slime was the guest. Ah! And one of the... Eh! Eh! Guys said, you know, I haven't been this mad since Aiden Calvin ran events and they and he put Jigglypuff versus Samus on the main... Oh, on the side stations <laughs> instead of Fox games. That's so fucking funny. Oh. Slime came to your defense. Dude, this is so deep cut. I don't know if I came to Aiden's... I, I don't remember what I said on that four side fights. But I think I did say he is confident in the decisions he made. And uh, I don't know. So there's a big Reddit thread complaining <laughs> about the fact that Samus Luigi was on stream while mm -hmm. like this other amazing set happened off stream. By the way, if Asphat had won, I think at the time, nobody would have fucking cared. Yeah, it's actually true. But because Smuckers won, people were like, dude, how come we didn't get... To that is kind of a gamble too. 
Because if it's an upset, people are initially going to be like, well, where's my VOD? And if it's not an upset, then no one cares. I, not so eloquently, <laughs> told the people on Hello, Reddit that dreams only oh. lose money. I get to choose what I want to put on the stream. Boom. This is a gift yes. to the audience. Fuck yes. Barely anybody is watching at this stage of the tournament anyway. Love it. Everybody, all of you are going to tune in and watch Top 8. Oh, he's so right. Anyway, this got downvoted to fucking oblivion. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everybody on the comments was so mad, dude. <laughs> to this day, I'm right. I know. <laughs> I, yep. It's just I'm so yep. it's so I'm so unfathomably correct. Oh, it's not even, I didn't say so it very dreamy. politely. <sighs> this was a prolific. It's so not again. Are you kidding me? This is the fourth time. I genuinely remember that this is the fourth time he said the word, and he doesn't know the definition. I wonder what I'll die wrong about. You think he's wrong, Jack? No, I was there, Gandalf. I was there in the original <laughs> thread. <laughs> you know what? For old time's sake, reddit.com slash. <laughs> Dude, he talks so much. It's so cute. Oh, here it is. All right. With all honesty, we a couple of TOs picked some matches we personally wanted to see and thought high ups up essential. Really don't care about catering what most people want when stream viewers equate to very little revenue, at least short term. There should be some great sets coming up, though, as the bracket closes down a bit. A lot of hype winner sets that will all be on stream due to the round one episodes. Really don't care about what Carol and most people want. Well, that's a disappointing response. I'm going to click on this guy's profile, and it'll be... That's just a... Uh, are, are you kidding me? This fucking skull-level Redditor? Jesus Christ. Dog, no offense, but who hired you? <laughs> Jeez, your man. Oh, that's so funny. He actually is pretty reasonable here. Look, see, Aiden, the thing is, he can go up against a skull level emoji fucking Redditor and actually still win with a, with like a agree to disagree type of thing. I like how this is like this legendary moment in Aiden's life that we've brought up over and over. And it's just like a 77 comment thread on Smash Bros. It's so funny, bro. We we're, we're really die for this shit. Boots on the ground, grassroots stuff. Do it all by yourself. That guy has like, a... I don't like find this. A way I don't like this shit. What is this shit? I don't like this cop activity. I, You know you can't ban staff. It won't let you. Look at that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go. No cops. We don't want cops here. I muted. A little Uzi Vert. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy couple words to leave out. You remind me a lot of Lil Uzi Vert. Wow. Never would have guessed ever that he's... Wow. Really? That is <laughs> not who I thought you were going to say at all. <laughs> well, who did you think I was going to say? So I have two ideas. I'm going to run one by you, and, and I'm going to pitch you the other one. You ready? Okay. So if I say it, then you guys can't steal it. Okay. Is that... Okay? That's fair. That's fair. I do not agree to this. No one's going to care about this, but I think it's fucking incredible. So you, you, you find two either teams or creators, and you send them Game Boy Colors, one with Pokemon Red, one with Pokemon Blue, and you have them play through it. They can play through it on stream if they want. They have to use the Game Boy. And then on main stage, they use the adapter that transforms your Pokemon from Pokemon Red and Blue to Pokemon Stadium, and they battle on the N64 on stage. <laughs> I think Aiden thinks this is a good idea. Based off of his expression, <laughs> this is like, this is like, yo, let's build. This screenshot is so funny. Oh my God. You could caption this with any terrible idea and oh my God. <laughs> that is dope. That would be... Dude. <laughs> Uh, the yard is, uh, I've already said it's, it's tremendous. It's, it's, it's what else? A, what else? What else is it tremendous? Who's best on it? Me? Maybe? I don't know, man. It's such a great podcast, especially, yeah. especially not only on YouTube and on audio platforms, but you guys are crushing on Patreon as well. Everyone always likes to talk about how much fucking bread we make. Everyone always talks about how much like money we make. And it's so funny. Because all we do is just put in medium effort. That's it. I think Furian's putting in a lot of effort. Their shit's big. Imagine they put in medium effort. Imagine if they put some medium ass 
team, same size as my iPhone, missionary effort into that shit. We want to do question. more like special Time episodes that, that, that is us committing to like some sort of activity. Is he just talking about how Ludwig's too busy? The the world, honestly. Uh, Bobby Schmurda future. This is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, this is the world if Ludwig wasn't like a streamer and was full-time yard and all of us were as well. Like it would be the things we would get up to are crazy, but it's just not really the case. And that's okay. It's totally okay. But I think about it sometimes. Something about Ludwig is we always like say, oh, we're just the fucking, we're the, we're the, the girl he doesn't see a lot, you know? We're, like, his Gumar, who he actually doesn't care about as the yard, and, like, the main shit is, like, the streaming show. But, like, Ludwig has never missed an episode. Or if he has, it was physically impossible for him to do one. He, like, shows up, and he cares. And I always think, like, what if we had all of him? Sheesh. And then the, the last question I have for you before Matt, Matt usually closes us off with whatever questions he has in his mind. So Matt gets questions? Mm-mm. You need to lock Matt in a fucking cage. Do you think Zipper has ever... Do you think we care about what Zipper has to ask? Zipper doesn't need to know anything besides man, 1080p HD bitrate. Yeah. I wonder what my episode with Hitch will be like. I want it to get weird. I want to, like, Eric Andre hire a bear to come in and shit. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. I think what I want to do is just... I want to ask him more questions. You will see me in a much more uh, serene environment when I'm like actively talking to someone like a normal person, which tip which never happens on the yard. It only happens in real life. And I can I will say this: I'm extremely charming. I think I would make Hitch want to fuck me. I think I could easily get him to want to fuck me in 40 minutes flat. <laughs> this is the same person pissing and farting in the room next to me, laughing between every fart. Mike was in the room when I was in the bathroom in the hotel and I like farted so loud and I just started laughing to myself and Mike was like, you're only laughing because I'm here. And I said, nope, I'm the same guy. Face us. Yeah, absolutely. We the man behind the yard? Um, but I'm, I'm tilted. He only did an hour with Mango? You know what? You know what makes me a fan of this? I want to see the Mango episode. I think... Unfortunately, he might have a good product here because I want to watch the Mango episode.